What's going on YouTube? The video title is correct. I was able to demo the brand new Lynx Boondocker 3900, which converts to the 154 track if you're from North America. Before we get started, I just want to explain that this is a non-biased review. Uh, I ride ski -Doo, but uh, I'm not sponsored by anybody. So this is just a normal guy uh, speaking his opinion. I also want to share that I am not an experienced mountain rider. I like to ride deep snow, but the terrain is small hills and swamps and meadows. Uh, just so that you know where I'm coming from. Okay, let's get into the review and let's start with the things that I didn't like about the boondocker. First, I don't like how low the ski tips are. This is a comparison between the 2021 ski do free ride ski and the Lynx Blade DS Plus ski. This bit me in one occasion where the ski went under an older branch and got wrapped around the A-arm and then got caught underneath the track. Now on that same subject of the skis, the wider skis I found take more effort to roll over and initiate a carve when playing in the swamps. It did feel heavier than a summit. I haven't heard official numbers yet, but I'm assuming that it is heavier with how rigid the rear skid is and how beefed up everything else is. The third thing that I didn't really like about the boondocker was the snow flap. And this is just really being nitpicky, but when you're in reverse, it becomes a plow and pushes the track down into the snow. Uh, so this is just something to be mindful of. It did, however, deliver enough cooling I wasn't running with the ice scratchers down and the hottest I saw the temp get was 124 degrees Fahrenheit. Lastly, this is getting really nitpicky, but the seat is firm, so long trail rides could be a little less than fun. That's really it for the things that I didn't like. Now let's get into the things that I liked about the Boondocker. I found that the skis provide a lot of flotation and made the sled feel really balanced. I really like how stiff the shock package was out of the box. The one I demoed did have the sway bar disconnected, which softened the ride a little bit, but I was hitting whoops at 50 miles an hour and never did I feel like I was going to bottom out. Unfortunately, my GoPro died during the trail ride. Uh, I think it just got too cold with how fast we were going. I really like how planted it feels on the trail. The skis provide enough traction to bomb through corners similar to my Expedition Extreme. Then when you get to a swamp or a meadow and lay the sled over, it feels like it wants to upright itself, unlike a summit where it wants to dive into the snow. This planted feeling is probably why athletes like Andre Bergmark Ross Robinson and Jason Ribby love jumping these sleds. The narrow running boards are awesome and the reduced drag in the snow is noticeable when side hilling, maneuvering through trees and even playing in the swamps or meadows. The narrow tank area was very nice. I'm only 5'8 and my feet were directly under my shoulders which gave me more confidence and better control over the machine. All right, final thoughts. Who is the Boondocker 3900 for? If you're looking for a great all-around sled that will take a beating and do everything that you want it to, this is a perfect sled. However, if you are a mountain-specific rider, I would stick to a summit or a free ride. The Boondocker is designed or is gonna excel in spring conditions when the snow gets packed and the terrain gets rough. But that's not to say that you couldn't ride in deep, fluffy snow up a mountain. I mean, look at Ross Robinson's last video. It was deep, it was fluffy, and it was up a mountain. I just think it would have been done easier if it was a summit or a free ride. All right, that's all I have for today. If you like this sort of content, please like, subscribe, comment, and share. If you have questions about the Lynx Boondocker, leave those down below in the comments. I will answer them as quickly as I can. If I don't have the answers, I will find somebody who does. Until next time, peace.